and it's pretty cool. You can do battles. You can see the screen is working perfectly fine on team my laptop. So whatever I do, let me just zoom in. You can see it. I just took a photo. I'm going to open up the photo. You can see it on the screen, which is pretty cool. Let me just zoom in. I can zoom in, you can see the zoom in and on the laptop, which is pretty, pretty cool. Hey, what is up everybody? I'm Riz and welcome back to the channel. It's so good to be back. Today's awesome video I'm going to show you. How to screen mirror your iPhone, any iPhone by the way, to your laptop any laptop you have. Not only that, also tons more features like you can record your iPhone screen on your laptop or your desktop, it doesn't matter, I'm pretty excited about it. My throat's been killing me today, but I'm gonna do my best, so let's just dive right into it. Okay, really simple on your laptop, as you can see, pretty simple. The first thing you need to do is to make sure you are connected to your home Wi-Fi connection because we're gonna be downloading the any viewer on our laptop. Pretty simple, just go to the link in the description box below and you can just go to the AnyViewer download website. As you can see, it's for Windows, for Mac, and for iPhone, and for Android as well. In this case, we're on Windows laptop, so just click on Windows. And as you can see, we have free download. We're gonna be downloading the 64-bit version, so just tap on that. As you can see, we're starting download now. It took about five to 10 seconds because my internet is pretty slow today. As you can see, it's downloaded. Installation is pretty straightforward, just tap on it. Click yes. Also, if you have any questions, just let me know in the comment section below. I'll definitely get back to you. So yeah, accept any of you, just click tap on install. As you can see, it's installing pretty straightforward. I don't have I don't even have to do anything. Just yep, there you go. Installation is pretty complete. Just give it a couple seconds. There you go. And uh, yeah, I'm not gonna open it right now. There you go. Installation is complete, it's pretty straightforward, and that is it. Pretty simple, right? Okay, next up, what you need to do is to make sure your iPhone is connected to your home Wi-Fi, just like we connected our laptop to our home Wi-Fi. Really simple. Do you want to go into the settings? Let me just turn down the brightness. Once you're into the, once you're inside the settings, you can just go into the Wi-Fi settings and just make sure your iPhone is connected to your home Wi-Fi. That is super simple, super easy. Next up, what you want to do is to, on your iPhone, you want to go into the Play Store. So just go to the Play Store. Inside the Play Store, just search any viewer. I'm just going to search any. There you go. You want to search any viewer. And there you go. It's pretty simple. Completely free. All the links will be in the description box below, so don't worry about it. Once you find this, all you have to do is just tap on get and it will automatically install it. Once the app is downloaded, this is where the magic happens. Now let's jump to the laptop and let's do it. Once the installation is done, just double click on the any viewer and this should be it. Pretty straightforward. As you can see, it says free registration, free use. Log in, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. I'm just gonna log in. Okay, now this is where the magic happens. As you can see, I have I have any viewer on my laptop and I have any viewer on my iPhone. And when I open up the any viewer on my iPhone, it says that the laptop is right there and that is my iPhone. Pretty cool at this moment. Next up, what you want to do is you can see when I play with the settings on the iPhone. As you can see, we have start. This is where you input this ID onto your iPhone. If you want to connect, then you have accept option. There it says you actually have a ID that you input right into the partner ID as well. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to, for just for the sake of the example, I'm going to show you a couple of settings. So just go to the start. First one is the start. It says start the remote device connection. What I'm going to do is to type in this remote ID right there into my iPhone. Okay. So let's just, let's do that. Let's click on connect. It's going to give a couple of seconds. It's going to give you information on how you can use it, a couple of gestures in there. Click finish and there you go. You actually have the, as you can see, you actually have the laptop screen on your, um, on your iPhone. What I'm gonna do is basically, as you can see, I have the option to use the mouse, as you can see. And by the way, you can see it working on the laptop. So I'm just gonna move aside just to, just to give you an example. Don't, if you wanna, if you wanna drag it, just get to the center and you can see it. It's working on my screen. You know, you need just let me, there you go. Now, for example, if I click, if I click on the right screen, it's gonna go to the refresh option. I could just move to the refresh tab right there and just tap OK. It's gonna refresh. Next up, I want to show you the touch mode. So click on tools, and you can see it on the screen. It says 
you can see it on the screen it says touch mode every time you click on touch mode and whatever you touch on the screen will automatically be touched on the laptop so if i want to click on the devices you can see it's connecting to the devices so for example if i go back to the connection tab you can see it going back to the connection tab it's pretty cool next up i want to show you since we don't have much time what i want to do is when i'm going to stop the connection click ok so there you go we have disabled the connection next up i want to show you the accept tab once you click on accept you can see this is my id which is really important i'm going to put my id on my laptop and see what happens so let's do that there you go now you have two different options once you put the id in you have remote control and you have file transfer i don't want to do that i don't want to do the file transfer at the moment i want to do is remote control so tap on connect and once you do that it will give you the option it will give you the it's gonna it's gonna ask for permission on your iphone so let's just do that click allow and you can see you can you can see there's an option click ok let's start broadcast option start broadcast option click ok wait a minute sorry click ok give a couple seconds there you go it's pretty simple now whatever i do on my iphone will automatically be reflecting on the laptop as you can see whatever i do it's going to be working on the laptop now i just want to give you a couple just want to show you a couple features of the anywhere on the desktop while you're doing this now you have a couple different options as you can see you have the hd option you can change the resolution if you want to you can actually record it if you want to as well and if you want to if you want to make a clip you can also make a clip right there now whatever i do on the iphone it will automatically be reflecting on my desktop computer that laptop computer as you can see no matter what i do if i want to let me just turn up the brightness so you can actually see better so no matter what i whatever i do on my on my iphone will automatically be reflecting on this so even even if i want to use the camera so let me just open up the camera you can see it on the camera so let me just let me just zoom out so you can actually see better there you go. so whatever i do let me just zoom in you can see it so yeah let me just take let me just take a photo i just took a photo i'm gonna open up the photo you can see it on the screen which is pretty cool let me just zoom in i can zoom in you can see the zoom in and on the laptop which is pretty pretty cool also if you want to go full screen you can actually go full screen as well as you can see and i can actually enable the brightness so there you go yeah so pretty cool you can actually go full screen you can take photos it's so cool and you can do anything you can do pretty much anything so let's just say i play games a lot i actually do i play clash of clans uh, but i mean i do i play clash of clans a lot as you can see it's going to open up clash of clans no lag and nothing it's pretty cool so i mean my town hall looks pretty cool right <laughs> you can see it i can just locked in i just logged into my account and uh, yeah there you go it's pretty cool and it's pretty cool. You can do battles. You can see the screen is working perfectly fine onto my laptop. Also, before I actually end this, just wanted to show you how you can disconnect it from the iPhone or on the laptop. It's pretty simple on your laptop. If you want to disconnect using your laptop, you can see there is a disconnect option right in the corner, right there. It's pretty cool. Or I'm gonna do this on your iPhone. It's pretty simple. You can see if you have the dynamic island, you can just tap on it. You can just tap on it and you can see there is a stop option right there. If you don't want to do that, you can just go into the control center and you can see I don't have broadcast option. You can just add it, click add a control. You can broadcast record option. There you go. Just add a record option. There you go. I have the add record option. What you want to do is just tap on it. And once you do that, it will automatically disconnect it for you. As you can see, I've just, just disconnected it on the laptop. Pretty cool. So let me know in the comment section below what you will be using this for. And if you want to download any viewer, Links will be in the description box below, so be sure to check it out. I hope you find this video helpful. If you find this video helpful, be sure to subscribe to the channel. It's going to help the channel a lot. If you have any questions, just comment down below. I'll definitely get back to you. And I'll catch you in the next one.